Hello and welcome to the final video in this series making a space shooter game using HTML and JavaScript. So much like the last video, very short this one probably, and no code, which is the good news because there's nothing new really to add. I just want to talk through a couple of changes I've made. I've added some more enemy images in, but you have the idea by now of how this works, just so we can vary the images a little bit. I've added in and you'll see here scrolling down a lot more waypoints for all of the waypoints in the game. That would be terribly boring to sit together and type all of those out. I've added in a, an object that gives some different speeds for the enemies, slow, medium, fast and very fast rather than hard coding them. And then I've added in another um, object here which has the keys of what I've called attack blocks. So sort of waves of attacks. So here would be streaming uh, from top to bottom of the um, the screen at various points across the screen which is the first wave of enemies use this stream down so it's kind of combinations of these waypoints all joined together to form a sort of attack wave on different positions on the screen. The rest of the code in here I think I'm hesitating because I think but I'm pretty sure it stayed all the same. The big change in the code really was here to set up the sequences so when I went with the original code we'd set up throughout the series so far it meant I would have to write a lot of lines for the various enemies. So I changed slightly how all that was set up, creating the sequences, and used the attack blocks, and then looped through each of the sequences in the attack blocks then to set up the enemy sequences. So just a small uh, difference to keep the code a little bit shorter for me. And here you can see all the sequences then I've created. I mean, they're, they're not brilliant, they could do with a lot of modification, but that um, if you're having fun with it, then I guess you can find much better combinations than I can. And the whole thing then has the effect of making the game look uh, like so. I'll just uh, refresh and press go. Hopefully you've still got system audio. I can't remember whether it's on or not. Um, but here we can see the various waves of ships and things coming down the screen, different colour sprites and things. Um, I think a big enemy comes on in a minute, etc, etc, with the score. But you get the idea. I'll press, uh, I'll press refresh. And that's really it um, then for the whole series and the game. Um, the game, of course, is I think is really, really extendable. You could add power-ups on, different kinds of bullets, uh, uh, recovering lives, um, many different types of enemies. There's all sorts of things. And because of the way it's set up with the sprite and things like that, it should be relatively straightforward to do. And... If you're a complete beginner in HTML and JavaScript, it would have been quite challenging in this series, I think. But if you were just starting out, then hopefully you've got to the end of this and you've learned quite a bit about how JavaScript works. It's actually very, very structured and very nice. It can be a bit of a pain sometimes when it doesn't work and you don't know why. But you've had quite an introduction to objects, lists, functions, audio, images, and all that kind of thing, and jQuery and manipulating the HTML from JavaScript and jQuery as well. So I've really enjoyed doing this one. It's been quite a challenge for me, uh, particularly with things going wrong now again and having to refilm quite a lot of things because of silly bugs. But uh, I really enjoy doing it and hopefully I've got the time these days to concentrate on lots and lots of different series I have ide ideas for in the future. So again, I really, really appreciate you uh, watching. It's really, really nice. Feel free to leave any comments or everything, anything. I always look at them, always try to take any kind of feedback, negative or positive, take it in a good way to improve in the future. And yeah, thanks very much. Hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next series.